They say that a wedding is the best day of your life, but to me, it will always be third best. I'll never forget my first Fosters. <laughs> No, on to the series now, but honestly, Hayley, you're not just my partner, you're my best friend and you're my soulmate. You truly have a heart of gold and I'm truly blessed to call you my wife. Thanks for everything that you do for me and the kids. You're literally the glue that holds everything together. I really don't know how you do it, you wonder woman. I know that this day is just the start of the rest of our lives and I can't wait to make more memories, share many adventures with Darcy and William and I'm so excited to see what the future holds. The thing I love about you most though is that you're the best man to Darcy and William that I could ever ask for. You have an unbreakable bond with them and the way they are, the way they're being brought up is all down to you. They're the best gift that you could have ever given me so please be upstanding and raise a toast to my amazing wife. To Hayley. Hey! I'll do the wrinkles some good. <laughs> I like that suit, Kev. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Kevin Malcolm Cumming. To witness that I, Kevin Malcolm Cumming. Do take thee, Haley Rig. Do take thee, Haley Rig. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. And now you, Haley. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Haley Rig. To witness that I, Haley Rig. Do take thee, Kevin Malcolm Cumming. Do take thee, Kevin Malcolm Cumming. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. 
You have symbolised your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. May the obvious feelings of love that you have for each other deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. It therefore gives me great pleasure to declare that you are now husband and wife, and Kev, you may kiss your beautiful wife. <laughs> A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Haley's dad, and I'd just like to thank everybody for coming here today. Haley, on the other hand, will be going away from here as I come in, so she won't know if she's coming or going. <laughs> just a bit of wit in there. Uh, but I'm sure Kevin will keep her right. He's a good lad and already part of the family. Now, unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, which you probably already know by now, I don't want to take up too much time of your time rambling on. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone concerned, especially the bridesmaids, flower girl, and page boy, who have done such a good job. And to Mally and Linda for dipping into their pension <laughs> pot. <laughs> well, I've lost it now. <laughs> now, just before I hand over to someone who's done a good job of their speech, I would like you all to raise your glasses in the toast to Haley and Kev. The bride and groom. First of all, I'd like to thank Mally for his kind words. I know how much you don't like talking in front of people, so. I bet you're pleased it's out the way and you can now just chill and enjoy the rest of your day. Keep going to the bar for me, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, I've still got Mike to come, so. Um, right. My wife and I. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, that's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> uh, just like everyone, thank everyone for being here today. The fact that you're all here means that you mean like something special to either me or Hayley, and in many cases, both of us. Um, I'd also especially like to thank the people that have travelled a long way to be here. Al, Sab, Zayona. It means a lot that you've met it. And Don, Mick, Fraser, Eleanor, Nathan, thank you. And a special mention to Baz Rob for making out how to be safely. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, though, with this, there are some people that can't be here today. Unfortunately, we only have one grandparent or great-grandparent remaining between us. Uh, so, Jean, it's really good to have you here today. Um, 
obviously without grandparents, none of us would be here today. So I think that brings me to my first toast of, to say this evening, this afternoon, <laughs> to absent friends. If you can all be upstanding for absent friends, and raise a toast. <laughs> for those that don't know me, I'm Mike, Kev's brother, the better looking one. <laughs> I've been chosen. I've been chosen to be the best man. It's on dues for the friend, even more an honour for the brother. Oh. <laughs> growing up, growing up, an older brother, I developed the same sense of humour. So this speech is crap. It's his fault. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank the bridesmaids. I must say they all look wonderful today and have done an excellent job of getting Hayley to the ceremony on time. I hear she put up quite a struggle. <laughs> and a big thanks to the ushers for carrying out a really difficult task of telling people where to sit. <laughs> a job well done, I'm sure you all agree. Here goes. As many bloody childhood stories go, me and Kev have had our ups and downs over the years. Unfortunately, there's enough time to go through all of them. <laughs> because I've only got a five minute window to get this done and dusted. <laughs> a lot of you will know, Kev is my best man. Kev's obviously a glutton for punishment and he's only got himself to blame for the following presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I've got about this, I might hold it up every now and then just in case. <laughs> Parched, hang on. You're doing well, pal. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> we all know Kev's had a competitive streak from a very early age. Losing to anything wasn't an option for him. I remember in old earlier days, me kicking his ass on the computer, and he run down the stairs shouting, Mum, Mum's cheating the computer! <laughs> Only for me to be getting told off. <laughs> this was only the start of the winner's mentality and got considerably worse with age. <laughs> Kevin's fell out with more friends over the years over other games of football, pool, snooker, cricket, Monopoly, cards and so on. <laughs> Doesn't matter what game it is, if there's a win in it, it's got to be him. <laughs> Kev's the only man I know that goes bored on his own the night before he's scheduled to go with his mates to get a bit of practice in. <laughs> Because he knows it's five quid a man. <laughs> he once walked off the golf course after three holes because he wasn't playing well. <laughs> we tried to convince him to carry on, there's still 15 holes to play. But he walked off anyway, shaking his head with his bottom lip out. <laughs> it's just a normal situation for Kev. <laughs> when it comes to losing, Kev spot more dummies than William and Darcy put together. <laughs> Them, them, <laughs> them poor kids will never win a game of mousetraps next <laughs> while, while Kev's at the table, and God help them if they do. <laughs> T to be honest, I could go on all day taking the mick out with Kev, but a lot of can't voice because they're children present. <laughs> and he can do a good job of his cell anyway, with his hair and his clothes and other stuff. <laughs> So that's enough for me today. So finally, raise your glass in the toast to love, to laughter, and happy ever after, the bride and groom. Yeah.